what is up guys as promised um, going live on the topic that you can see in the title of you are selfish and you don't even know it right so you might be thinking like why christina you are saying such a mean things if you are probably don't even know me <laughs> that well to say that i am selfish so today i want to talk and bring to your awareness a couple of things that how we used to think about selfishness and in my opinion it has been really really twisted in not in the best way for human beings so let's start um, by defining what is selfishness Bas basically being selfish in my opinion and what i see the world is labeling now is self-focused right so self-focused when you're doing something just purely out of your interest it's very egoistically focused right and so what we've been taught usually hi Inessa, how are you so what we have been thought about selfish being selfish is that it is good to focus on other people but when we focus on ourselves it's bad right it is bad quote and bad because there's no good or bad but it is bad when it purely comes out of your interest you're doing something purely just for yourself and you don't really take into consideration other people opinions needs desires and so on and so forth so when we say to ourselves um <laughs> when we say that when we think and you know the reason i'm saying this is because so many people i've heard my friends myself in the past when we try to focus on ourselves because we want to take care of ourselves what comes up one of the first things comes up is guilt feeling guilty for that oh i'm focusing on myself it's so selfish right or when you actually try to do uh, something for yourself other people might be like oh my god you're just thinking about yourself you're so selfish um hi Aditi, how are you and uh let me know guys if you can relate this if you can relate to that feeling of feeling guilty or you know being called by other people that you are selfish when you want to take care of yourself um right because we really have to understand where this guilt is coming from right We've been thought that focusing on other, world, on other people on the external world is good, but to focus on ourselves is bad. Hi, Evelina, how are you? Well, it has been all designed in very, very on purpose because if you purely, if you focus on yourself with the purest intentions of taking care of yourself making sure that your vibration is high and you're the happiest being isn't that actually in the service to others because think about it who wants to be our own people who are you know down and grumpy so obviously yourself you also want to be around people who are fulfilled who are happy and so on and so forth because that energy is contagious so first of all and uh, i wanted to get out of the you know out of the bad that focusing on yourself when you have purest intentions there's nothing bad with it and it's not selfish however the whole topic of you are selfish and don't even know this is because again the whole topic of being selfish has been so twisted by media but by the our teachers education how we've been grown up one of the things and i touched on a little bit last week um video and guys let me know how what's your relationship with taking of your taking care of yourself and like pleasing other people because when we please other people we think that we are doing good we think that we're nice where in reality we're selfish because we're trying to please someone and we are but there's no one winning in that situation we're betraying ourselves and we are also in the service to other people because we are not honest with them right so do you see how it has been twisted um 
And the last point I want to bring here, which is the main point um, of this video, is because, and I will not be saying this if I will not, if you guys will not be telling me this, right? So I know many of you want to show up online, want to be have such incredible messages, have so much knowledge and value, and you want to help other people, but you're not. You're not showing up. why because you're selfish and you might be thinking like how it's possible that i'm selfish i want to help people but the thing is you're not helping them you're worried too much about how you're gonna look how you're gonna sound is anyone gonna listen to you being selfish in this case is purely i know i have the value but i'm not gonna share it I, no, I have the knowledge, but I'm not, not, I'm not gonna give it to anyone, right? So being selfish in this case scenario is allowing your fears to keep you down, to keep you stuck, and allowing your past experiences, past labeling, past programming to rule you, right? Because if we really think about this, you have the powerful message. You can literally change the world. I'm not kidding you. You know, only simple conversation with someone can change somebody's life. And you're not doing it because you're too worried about yourself. And in such case scenario, it is very true that the only thing you are worried about is, you know, your ego is trying to save its ass. And, you know, guys, let, let me know if you can resonate because... I surely can, <laughs> like, you know, I would not be speaking about this if I would not be like, yeah, I'm also very often I'm selfish, like, I could share so much more and so much, you know, woo-woo more stuff, but, um, hey, um, but I'm not because I'm also worried how I'm gonna look like, I don't want to be too much, I don't want to scare people off, I don't want to, people judge me, right? Um, so with this being said i want to encourage you and ask yourself where am i selfish where i'm just thinking about myself where i'm putting my fears over my needs my passion and where i'm putting my fears over the needs of other people over the service to other people Literally, take a notebook and write it all down. Just brain dump it on your notebook and just, you know, step away out of it and look at it. And then just ask yourself, is it really me? Do I want to continue to do that? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, 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 uh, it's amazing to hear that um, you guys are opening more and more up. Hey, Kelly. Hi, Oscar. I'm just wrapping things up here. Um, so with this being said, guys, I really encourage you, no matter what, like acknowledge your fears, acknowledge that they're there, but do not allow them to suppress the way you show up, what you want to share, because the world truly needs it, right? And just know we all have fears and they will never, ever go away. So next week I will be launching some, not launching, but announcing something uh, to the public, which is really focused on helping other people to, you know, really become conscious of your fears and insecurities and how they're, you know, ruling you so that you can learn how to overcome this and finally start showing up online. If, of course, this is what you actually want to do, if you feel that pull, that nudge um, to move forward, to share your um, message so definitely stay tuned for that because this is gonna be amazing um, think about the people who need to hear your message um, listening to your fears and self-doubt exactly Kelly um, thank you so much for sharing this right listening to those but not being ruled by them there's a huge difference right all the even the lower emotional vibrations needs to be observed so Guys, thank you so much for uh, tuning in, for commenting, for being brave, and also saying that you have fears. Um, I and put a goal, you know, end of this week, put put a goal to look at your fears, to acknowledge them, 
and just say, you know what, this is done. I'm opening up a new chapter and I'm ded dedicating myself to my passion, to my desires, and also to service to others if this is something you actually want to do, because why not? All right, guys, thank you so much, and uh, I uh, wish you a happy Friday, rest of the Friday, and enjoy your weekend. All right, talk to you soon.